I'm not supporting like this, this image of a white genocide removing all Europeans from the area. But what I am supporting is dismantling the whole structure, right? We've seen in South Africa, you, you could like remove the so-called apartheid state, but the people that still own the means of production that still hold power and resources are still the Europeans. Okay. So, okay. So after removing the system of apartheid, you would then want to redistribute resources and have a kind of like reformative justice system where you try to not only get rid of the like obvious legal apartheid system, but also like all of the underlying systems that have been caused by it, you know, to equitably distribute land and wealth, right? I think that Sam Cedar would 100% agree with that, right? Get rid of the apartheid and then address the massive socioeconomic disparity between Palestinians and uh, Israeli Jews. I think he'd agree with that. Okay. We see it here. Huh? We see it here, right? Sure, Native Americans have sovereignty to a limited extent, but it's still a settler colonial project that you benefit from, more so than the indigenous people. Right. And, Agreed. You know, uh, New Africans, right? Yeah, and I think most left-leaning people would agree that Native American people in America today are monstrously mistreated and are also suffering massively due to long-standing deprivation, which is a product of policies the government did and continues to maintain. And for that reason, even if we don't literally have like a legal system of apartheid with Native Americans, though again, like even then the reservation system kind of does have some real, real weirdness there. But, you know, like, yeah, so the, it should be like restitution should be made, right? Yeah, that's that seems fine. Okay. Okay. So you would also support the dismantling of the, not just the U.S. empire, but the U.S. settler colonial project as well here, right? So what does that mean? Dismant Again, it's like the deference to these really, really vague general terms. What does that mean, though? They can't be specific because they just know buzzwords. So how is it that, th so they're there, but they don't, mm -hmm. there's no, they, they never get any type of, of rights in this, in the future society, or they don't have a, a right in the initial phases of a, right, right, a right. unified state yeah the, I, the, I was, the latter concerned. the latter yes okay yes. because so, they're still an immediate threat and we're seeing that okay so this is so this would just be apartheid again but in the other direction i feel like there are better ways to address the israeli-palestinian conflict than just doing double reverse backflip sick nasty grind off the rail apartheid you know in South Africa, where these white supremacists are just, you know, biding their time. And they're yeah, still okay. Actively, I mean, you know, I, I, the, so the problem in South Africa would not be fixed by an effort to dispossess white South Africans of their rights. That would exacerbate a lot of these issues. The big issue in South Africa is that even after you get rid of apartheid, so much power is held by white South Africans that like it's really 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 difficult to meaningfully and practically unroot their disproportionate influence right if you want to fix that you can redistribute wealth without literally subjecting a racial class to apartheid i don't think south africa should pass a law saying hey if you're white give your shit i do think south africa could pretty easily pass a law saying hey for those who acquired their wealth during this period of time or from industries that were created or enriched during this period of time then uh you know uh time to uh fork it over baby and uh that would functionally do the same thing but without the apartheid like you don't want to create literal different sets of rules for different races we're just talking about you know land reform and wealth redistribution. And I think you can go pretty radical with it too. Just, uh, you know, don't do apartheid. You're saying that there must be a, uh, a total overthrow that must take place, that all of the European implants that have come in uh, and colonized this must be completely disempowered in that first instance in setting up a new uh, Palestine, let's call it. You know, I think one thing that you could do that wouldn't be as psychotic as what this guy is advocating for, but might actually be a reasonable solution, is you could do for Palestinians what Rojava has done with women. Because women's issues are um, a bit of a big deal in the Middle East, as you can imagine. There's like a separate political council, a government, effectively, of women ruling on women's issues and 
on issues in general. I think if you had something like that in any kind of decolonized Israel where you had like a Palestinian legislature that has to effectively like sign off on anything that happens. So basically, like, imagine you have like one regular legislature where everyone votes in your candidate and some of them are like Jewish and some are Arab or whatever else, right? And then you have a separate parallel legislature, which is basically like an oversight committee where, and, and it's, it's Palestinians, and they have the ability to like veto or overlook. Now, obviously, as I've proposed this right now, there are many flaws in the suggestion, but there are versions of this varying levels of power you could give that secondary council that would give kind of like, um, rather than just preventing Israeli Jews from having a voice in government, you would make sure though there's a kind of like indigenous oversight, if that makes any sense. There's a, there's a, a, a workable version of this, I feel. I also think <laughs> the idea that the white Europeans in this country are going to give up the levers of power mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, it, uh, is also fantastical. <laughs> yeah, not peacefully, that's for sure. No, I, uh, also, listen, how do you so I don't, I don't, like, like, but dude, let, let me ask you a question, let me ask you a question, no, 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 wait a second, listen, listen. See, the primary interest of the caller seems to be distinguishing themselves from, like, the presumed liberal attitude. Like, look at the fuming liberals who are upset with my radical suggestion that we should, quote, use violence to decolonize. The Joker laugh. Well, in my in my experience, people who do that kind of like forced fake laugh are usually doing it because they understand they don't really have that much to offer except uh, reinforcement of the perceived distinction between them and the people they're talking to. Right? Like, you know, you're a liberal. I'm a based and red pilled leftist or whatever. So, in in lieu of an argument, you can kind of like defer to the like, ah ha ha. It doesn't matter what we say here because, you know, your words are meaningless to me. I've seen through your game. That's why I'm laughing at it. It's so transparent. The liberal settler realist game. Here's the issue. You got to get your own show. You got to get your own YouTube show. Hey, because that's this all is I started you to call out people care like you. about. That liberal, that's yeah. all you care about. Deculturation. There it is. There it is. Deculturation. Okay. Check out uh, Black Power Media, Breakthrough News, who actually do real journalism. Yeah, see, these people are all the same, man. Like, every time, it, buzzword, 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 I'm more virtuous than you, I'm woker than you. Here are my, like, incredibly wedge points that I want to make, even though I'm not going to make any effort to actually explain them. Also, I'm actually only here to promote my own thing because I never came in here with the intent of changing anyone's mind. Like, I came into this knowing that it was going to be unproductive and I had very little to say. So, like, you know, here's me, um, yeah. This is one of the reasons why I don't really, like, seek out debates anymore, because I feel like this is the only kind of debate you can really get. A lot of the people you talk to don't care about convincing anyone. They barely even care about their own positions. They're just desperately trying to scrape off some attention and clout. Like, it's very transparent. Nobody has any principles. Yeah, I'll take care. Keep right. being white. Yeah. I'm... Keep being white. Like, see, it's there, there's no actual effort to convince anyone. It's just an effect. The purpose of this isn't to pull over people from the majority report, the purpose of this is to be able to go back to his channel and go, look at how I fucking own Sam Cedar, that settler white piece of shit, by calling him white or something. You know, like the, the goal isn't, it's like a very insular, like detached perspective. It's, it's not fun to engage with.